Andrew is your typical overachiever in high school. He participates in this club and that sport and does everything possible at school. We respect his ambition, but he is leading an unbalanced life and copes with it by scrolling through Instagram reels and eating dubious amounts of rice. Ashish. Ashish doesn't want to go to Harvard, but he knows that success comes from consistent hard work. He leads a balanced lifestyle, all the while having vibrant friends and doing well in all aspects of his life. How does he do this? Well, simply put, Ashish continuously improves himself. 1. Cut down on anything. Choose something over another. Less, I really do think less, is truly better. You've heard it from your family. You've heard it from your friends. You've heard it from, I don't know, your teachers. Choose one thing or another. You can't choose everything. Less is truly better. You gotta choose something, right? If you're swimming, or if you're doing, a, if you're doing so many clubs at school, if you're graduating a year early and you're swimming early in the morning, you gotta choose at least, at most, two of those things. Sure, you might have been a jack of all trades, but you were master of none. If you just chose two of them, if you just chose one thing or two things that mattered the most to you in your life and stick to it don't add anything else if there's some new fucking trend on anything don't add anything else choose monogamy over polygamy choose these this one thing or even this the second thing right these two things and stick to it for the rest of your life or for the rest of your year how long you want don't do all these things at the same time you're not going to end up anywhere. Less is truly better. And choose properly. You know why fucking horses, you know, when you're in the in the horse carriage, right? The horses have like things that blind them or at least uh, restrict their vision. It's because if there's too much stimuli, if there's too much, the horse is not going to listen to the command of the, the driver, right? It's the same with humans. <laughs> I'm not a fucking horse, but from personal experience, less, when I had less things in my life, when I had less things to balance out, everything, I was just super focused. There wasn't any like literal garbage in my mind. And I could focus on the thing in front of me. Quantity over quality. Another thing I think Andrew, along with past Andy, did really well was I chose quality over quantity. This is not some history lesson, but the Soviets, look at them, right? Why'd they win or at least beat the Germans? Sure, you might argue that because you, the United States and the Allies landed in France, whatnot. But the reason why the Germans just couldn't fucking get rid of the Soviets. Sure, it might have been winter, but it was also because of the fact that they were outproducing the Germans in tanks, in weapons and whatnot. And through... Constantly outproducing them, they actually upped the quality of their weapons. Right? Stick to quantity over quality until quality is actually raised. Until you improve the quality. So, back in the day, I was, I was applying to these colleges in the States. I just, I always tried to plan out the perfect essay outline. I just do, if it's, if something was shit, or if it was 8 out of 10 good, I would scrap it. And I'd try to get to that 9 out of 10 thing. Now you might be you might be thinking, oh Andy, that's a good mindset. No, it's not. I didn't get anywhere. I didn't end up finishing an entire essay. My essays were shit. Because I didn't have somebody that constantly critiqued me. I didn't have myself constantly revise it. Because I would just stop it. I would just stop writing the essay because I thought it was stupid. No, no, no. The first thing of anything that you're going to do is going to be stupid. It's going to be shit, actually. It's going to be terrible. But it's through constant revision, repetition, where you will achieve that success. Where you will achieve that end goal. So you have resumes, right? You're, you're not trying to... You have two weeks to write a, a resume, right? You're not going to you know, spend one week planning out the perfect resume. No. You just do it. You know, it'll take you like an hour right, to write a resume. It's going to be shit. And then 
through two weeks of constant revision, you send it out to different employers and you tweak it based on which ones you see in results. That's how you achieve success. That's how you achieve your goals. That's how you do anything. It's repetition, practice, deliberate practice. If I were to go back, I'd tell young Andy, I'd be like, Andy, shut the fuck up. I'd slap in the face and I'd say, quantity, oh fuck, quantity over quality. This ties into my last point. Uh, I was a perfectionist and I think, sure, if you're an artist, be a fucking perfectionist. But the majority of people aren't fucking artists. Right? You're not fucking Picasso. Even Picasso, Leonardo da Vinci, all these renowned artists, Van Gogh, they how'd they get good at painting? How'd they get good at art, right? Because they did shit so many times. They they did quantity over quality. What ended up happening is quality went up as they produced more quantity. In paintings, let's, let's say fucking Van Gogh, right? I, I don't know his story, but I'm guessing that he's painted so much. He's gone through shit in his life. He's just, he's painting so many paintings at the same time. And it, one day, after like five years of painting, after 10 years of painting, he paints a masterpiece, right? A modern masterpiece, fucking Starry Night. It's through, or even, it might have taken him like 20 years, 30 years. It's through 30 years, uh, dozens of years. It's so much repetition that gets you success, right? Why are Chinese divers so fucking good? Why do they always get tens at the Olympics? because they practice day in and day out. They have so many reps. They repeat the same movement so many times that what ends up happening? They get tens, they earn tens at the Olympics. Embrace a growth mindset. Sure, if something goes to absolute shit, if you have a shit day, know that tomorrow will be better than this shit day that you have. If you're having a shit day, I don't think there's enough people on the internet to tell you this. If you're having a shit day, fucking know that tomorrow's gonna be better. Know it. Fucking flex it. Just show it. Okay? Show that tomorrow's gonna be better. Don't just sit there whining on your fucking chair or in your bed. If you're watching this in bed, fuck you. Huh? Get up. Do some work. Get off this video, but I digress. Repetition. Repeat something over and over and over again. What was that saying? I, I don't know. Some fucking red pill YouTuber or some black pill. I don't, I don't even know. He said, eights are harder to pull than tens. Why is that? You dissect that yourself. For those that don't know me, my name is Andy Leon. And I know I got a bit aggressive there, but like, I had to. I create a lot of videos centered on self-improvement. If you like an occasional laugh, some fitness, and of course, reaching your greatest potential, consider leaving a like, commenting, and joining our community by subscribing. Watch these videos on how to get shredded and watch this video on how to have unlimited riz. Remember, if you wanna see the rainbow, gotta put up with the rain. Peace.